In the previous screencast, we've set up Laravel database notifications so that anytime someone likes a tweet, a notification is created for the tweet author to see. The problem is that currently the author has refreshed the page in order to notice the new notifications. It would be nice if that would happen in real time. That's where Pusher comes in. We can broadcast events from our backend using Pusher and then listen to those events on the client side and update the UI accordingly. The first thing we need to do is to make sure our notification is sent via the broadcast channel. This will ensure the notification is sent to whatever driver we are using, in our case Pusher. So we'll open the notification, go to the via method, here we are defining the notification delivery channels, and make sure we add the broadcast. By default, the broadcast driver is set to log. So every notification sent through the broadcast channel should show up in our log file. Let's test that out. So we'll like a new tweet that will trigger a new notification and this should show up in our log file. And here it is. Let's change our driver to pusher and see how it goes. If we like a new tweet and check the log files, we got an error, class pusher not found. That's because in order to use the pusher driver, we need to install their PHP SDK. So we're gonna install pusher PHP server version four. Let's like a new tweet and see how it goes. We got a 404. The reason for that is because we haven't configured Pusher just yet. If we go to our environment file and scroll down, we see there are a few environment variables we need to set up. To do that, we need to register to a Pusher account and then create an application. We need to go to Channels, Manage, Create App, enter our app name, we can also choose to create apps for multiple environments, but we don't need that. And then we can choose our tech stack. I'll go with Vue.js and Laravel. And now Pusher will show us our configuration variables. We can just grab them from here and enter them in our application. Also make sure the cluster matches the one set up here when we created the app. So these also need to be the same. Now that we've created our pusher application and set the environment variables, we can go to the debug console and check if our events are coming through. So I'm going to like a new tweet and go back. And here's our event with the user and the tweet. Let's go and do another one. And here's the other one. So now we can say our application is sending the events to Pusher. Let's see how we can listen to these events on our client and update the UI accordingly. The first thing we need to do is to install Laravel Echo in Pusher. Laravel Echo helps us subscribe to channels and listen for events broadcast by our application. So whenever an event is sent via Pusher, we can use Laravel Echo to listen to it and act accordingly. If we open our bootstrap.js file, we should already see Laravel Echo initialized. All we have to do is to uncomment this code and make sure to restart Webpack to grab these environment variables from our environment file. So npm run start runs watch. Now that we've initialized Laravel Echo, it's time to decide where to place our event listener. Since our menu appears everywhere in our application, and it's part of the app layout, we can set up the listener inside the created hook in our Vue.js template. So we'll go to app layout, and add in the created hook. And here we'll set up our event listener. Whenever we broadcast a notification using the notify method on the user model, an event is sent via a private channel. The channel name is usually the namespace with dots instead of slashes, 
and the ID of the user appended at the end. If we go through our logs and check the first notification we sent using the log driver, we can also see the channel name, which is private app.models.user.1. So this is the channel we need to use. So we go to boot to our app layout and say window.echo private and then we add in app models.user and here we need to append the ID of the current user. So this dot page props user ID and then notification and here we'll receive the notification object. And let's just console. And let's check if it works. So we'll refresh the pages. Open up the console. And we already have a 404 from Broadcasting Goth. This error appears because we haven't registered the bootstrap service provider. So we need to go to app, config slash app and look up the broadcast service provider. Uncomment this and refresh again. Okay. And then let's like a tweet. And here is our notification. All we have to do now is to act based on this notification. In our case, we just need to increment the unread notifications count whenever we receive a light tweet notification. So we'll add a switch statement and check the notification type. And the case for app forward slash forward slash notifications, liked tweet notification another slash. Here we need to increment the notifications count. So this page props are red plus plus. And with any luck, it should work. So if we go back and refresh the pages, we are currently at 17. And if I like a new one, we have 18, 19, and so on. One thing worth improving is the information we're sending to Pusher. Currently, we're sending both the tweet and the user details like name and email. It's better to send as little information as possible, not just for privacy reasons, but for performance reasons as well. To reduce the data we're passing to Pusher, we need to go to our like tweets notification and add a new method called to broadcast. It has the same structure and works in the same way with this to array method. The only difference is that one is used to save the notification in data in the database, while the other one is used when broadcasting to pusher. If we think about it, we don't need any of these two because we're simply incrementing the unread notification count on the client. So we don't need to pass any data to pusher. Now, if you go back and like a new tweet, so I'm gonna unlike and like this one, you can see that the only information we receive is the ID of the notification and its type. And that was it. That's how you do notifications with Echo and Pusher in Laravel and Inertia.js applications. Bye.